like I say, you know, uh, when it comes down to it, don't, I will continue to be, I mean, you don't got to continue to dress like how you used to dress, but just continue to, to pick that knowledge because they still like it. You know, I mean, one thing they can't take, whether they agree with your lifestyle, whether I agree with your lifestyle, because there's certain things I didn't agree with, but some of the shit you'd be saying, be, you know, it's knowledge. It can help people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. continue to kick that shit. Be that nigga with knowledge with Gucci on or whatever, you, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you decide to put on. Be that nigga with that. You know, and continue to do your thing. Hell yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But yeah, you, you said what? Oh, okay. But yeah. What's up, Mini Love? I don't even know what to rock outside of that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to, to wear outside of that. Like, like, I'm so oblivious to what's going on now. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm so oblivious to what's going on out here that if I stop wearing a designer, I don't even know what to put on. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what to... Nigga, I would be wearing throbes, Muslim throbes, with uh, with, with with some jeans and, and and some Tims or like the throbes that I had on. That's my style. Like, but the, I, I was uh, the thing about it is, if that's really you, like this, wear what really identifies with you. Don't wear what identifies with the conscious community well, or I'm, with the Babylon. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't want me to wear what's 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 what identifies with me, because then I would be naked. So like I'm not I'm not um uh, I'm be real with you clothes are not my thing. Okay. Yeah, don't be. I'm a new. Yeah, don't don't. Yeah, we don't. Want it, you know, it's 2021 in Atlanta. Yeah, so what I'm no telling you is that I'm a I am a natural. Like you, who I am is indigenous. Right. It's only like. Throw there's like wraps. We wear wraps okay. barefoot. Um no shirt, tribal, feathers. That's my thing. That's my thing. My thing is like beads and feathers and shit like that. I can't do that shit out here. You know what I'm saying? Like so this is me being out here is not who I am at all, but um uh, But hold on, let me let me ask you this. Is the reason why you can't do it because you know that you will snap on a nigga for talking shit to you because you don't you, like like you don't want to no, be like, no 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 it's it's just not the wave of what's going on with my people right yeah, now fuck what's going on with the people nigga you 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 unique well I done said fuck I I didn't come back here to say fuck what's going on with people I came back here to connect with them I didn't come back here to. I, if I wanted to say fuck what's going on here, I would have never came here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I, I, like, for me, coming here was to connect back to my present moment. Like, okay, so look, right? Humanity is going through different stages in consciousness. Where I'm living at in Puerto Rico, that's the future. When the economy collapses, you're going to need to have resources, you're going to need to have your own food growing. You're gonna have to have you're gonna have to have a team of men around you that's gonna be able to this is what's coming. You know what I'm saying? Um cryptocurrency is showing you that the economy is eventually going to fall and we need to be networked with resources to be able to survive and not wait till the last minute. So in the future, what you see carbonation doing will be the norm. It will be everybody struggling to find resources and that's the future. That's why they make the zombie games and Call of Duty and all of this stuff. It's preparing your mind for what the future's coming. That's the future. So what I'm doing in Puerto Rico, that's the future. But the, the black people with their mind and consciousness is at right now, it's not in the future. It's in the present. I already, I already, um, I already, um, I already live in the future. Carbonation is the future. Right. Me coming here is the present. This is where the consciousness at. In the you know, it's like when you talk to people here, they, they're, they're like, what? It is what it is, bro. This is what we wear. This is what we're doing. No one's questioning anything. They're in the moment. They're in the present moment. 
Right. They're not asking themselves, damn, what will happen if uh, Corona hits again and the economy f collapses and how are we going to get food? No one's thinking about that. They'll be thinking about that in the current moment because these are people in the current. But but w w what I'm saying to you is that um, I, I came back to the present moment to 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 assist, to be present to exist in the present moment with consciousness as our people are in the present while already living in the future. Um, carbonation is me in the future. And now I'm here in the present with everything that's going on at the same time so that I can live my life um, at the same time. So I've secured my future. I've come back to the present moment to watch it all unravel and the process of it all taken out. You know what I'm saying? And, and try to, you know, while I'm here, have those conversations with people and enjoy the process of the unraveling towards that future that I've secured in carbonation. You know what I'm saying? So can I, I got three questions for you. And uh, so do you think that this is being in the present moment? Do you think this shit has been like, do you think it's beneficial for you to come back to the Babylon and be in the present? Like, and if it is beneficial, how is it benefiting? Um, I think it's beneficial because I get to study people's minds and I get to see it all happen. It's like going to the future and coming back to the present to watch it all go toward what you already know is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So say if you can go into the future and see the future and you prepared yourself for the future, mm -hmm. you would go back to the present to either warn people, to talk, to make conversation, but actually just to observe and to acknowledge and have fun and exist in the present moment, knowing that I've secured my future, but I'm here in the present. And I'm going to watch it all Thank unravel. You it. So, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, so the second question is this: So, are you going to eventually go back into the tropics, into to nature? Or are you going? Well, we all, we all will eventually have to do that. It's not even a question. Like we all, like you, you can't stay there in Vegas if, without the economy. Like Vegas is going to be a super hard place to survive off the land. If you know what I'm saying, like, like imagine there was no electricity going through your home or imagine that there was no money had no value. You know what I'm saying? And um, immediately the lifestyle that you're living right now will have to turn into what we're doing in carbonation. So it's like it's the future. You see what I'm saying? Like you have to think about those things if you know what's going on in the world from a worldview and you're watching. um this government that we depend on so heavily, if you're watching it and you have to be prepared and take some of that money and say, you know what, I'm going to take some of this money and make sure I'm sustainable. And I have not only am I sustainable, but I'm prepared for economic collapse. And most people aren't prepared for an economical collapse and what that means. And I, I want to bring those conversations up. I want to talk about them. I want to network. I want people to think about that because it's coming. It's coming, whether they, they're thinking about it or not. People, obviously, most people are going to die, and that's okay. But I, I feel like coming back to the present moment and simply talking about these things are very important. So the, so the last question is this, and, and you know, like, right now, you know, I, I don't be trying to clown. You can feel my spirit. So I'm just trying to ask these questions because I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to know. And I, I just want to know because I, I, I have seen you come to Babylon and dress Babylon. So are you going to eventually start allowing uh, the females to wear the word weed and stuff? No, they don't. I don't think they deserve. I think them being here, we should be in the world, but not of it. If if you know what I'm saying, like, I I, I think that it makes a statement to other black women that they can love themselves naturally and still be beautiful without makeup and in their natural state. I think them being um in that natural state helps black women see themselves in that natural state and inspires them maybe to take that journey as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, black women need to see themselves, especially black women, need to see themselves in a natural state. Uh, need to see themselves in a natural state and, and know that they're beautiful and be inspired by that. So when my wives are walking around with me, they're always constantly told by women, oh my God, you guys are so beautiful. Oh my God, you know, whoa, like you guys are like flowers. You know, and it inspires the woman 
to to know that they can be beautiful as well that you're you're beautiful you're black and you're beautiful in your natural state you don't need to add nothing to your beauty there's nothing to make up for you're beautiful the way you are and the way we are in all shapes sizes and colors of of the melanated people so with that being stated i think that i don't think they want to put weave in there here do y'all no i don't have a desire to do that at all <laughs> <laughs> they said no. They have said no. Um, yeah, they said no. They're not interested in. in I don't even think I want to deal with a woman that would be interested in wearing weave. You know. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's a fair. That's a fair. That's a, uh, that's a fair question. So, when it comes to being in the Babylon in the present moment, it's really only. It's really only like for you, so you can get the information. In this moment, in the present moment. Um, it's like the return of the Christ, right? When I'm when I when we're living out there, we're 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 detached from society and the way we can talk to you is through a phone. Now I'm here with the people. I could walk, I could talk to them, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You can see me. People walk up to me every day and like, yo, you're nature boy. I watch your videos, thank you so much, you inspire me. And you know, just to know like you know, I'm here. I'm here for the ride. Like I'm, I'm riding with you. Like I'm living in the present moment with my, with, with, with my people. As I know, most of them going to die. Most of them is going to die. Most black people are going to die, and it's going to be sad. Most black people and kids and women, and it's going to be horrific. What's coming is going to be a terrible thing coming, but it's part of the destruction for the renewal. It's just a sad thing that's coming, but it's necessary. Okay, so last but not least, uh, so with with everything kind of kind of trans transforming and transitioning, does the does the eating and because you, you had a lot of positive things going with you know with certain things at certain times of your life, you know uh, when it comes to eating and doing certain things a certain type of way and grounding your feet, do you, you know are you still grounding? Are you still going into nature out here? Oh yeah, like I'm setting up my house right now. We're still we're still doing that as well. I mean that that's all. That's the thing I want to talk about too. Like, you know, be what nature is like uh, having a connection to the earth and honoring the, the, our connection to, to the oneness of everything is imperative and grounding is imperative. All of that stuff is imperative, mm -hmm. but more, more than anything. And, and I, and I have to like say this carefully because I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but what's more important than anything is that we connect with each other. Because people talk about talking about talking to God, but the closest you will ever be to God is another human being. Trust me, I've been in the woods. I've talked to birds and trees and fucking plants and shit, but they don't talk back. Um, so God can't. God can talk to you through these things and teach you stuff if you are listening close enough. And there's always a lesson in all creatures and all things on this planet. But the direct way God, the God talks to you and the devil talks to you is through human beings. It's my phone. Somebody's sending too many messages at a time. Right, right, right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Wow. So, um, but yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Uh, shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I hear, I most definitely, uh, I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, yeah, I hear it most definitely. Um, the people are so rude, you know, but I understand that I, I've, uh, I created that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, um, like, I got to take all the negative and turn it into positive because it's like, it's, that's what it's for. The negative is for me to alchemize into something positive. Okay. Um, now I seen something interesting the other day. Well, now I don't even give you business. That's your business, you know. But are you going? You, but you're still doing the polygamy thing, right? You're still trying to get more women. Are you just? Well, polygamy is not even a thing that you're trying to do. It's just na it's just the natural state of men. Men are polygamous. Okay. Um, as long as they're healthy and their testosterone levels are the right on the right place, then a man is going to desire to be more than one woman. This is just the way it is. That's how men are set up. So the young girl, um, I'll go ahead. Go ahead. You said the young what? So the young girl, uh, the young girl with the uh, the weave was that just like on some some you know 
get some views up shit? Was you? Do you decide no, that type like, of woman? I, I don't mind. I don't mind a woman meeting a woman where she's at, and her as she's willing to learn, mm -hmm. as she's willing to take in the knowledge and learn. She's gonna eventually let the weave go, and she's gonna eventually like become her natural self. So I'm not gonna judge a woman because she's wearing weave when I meet her. So I wasn't. I, it wasn't for views. I was taking her very seriously, and I wanted to. I, but I'm. But the thing is, like, I'm willing. I'm. I'm. I have a. If the woman is willing to take the knowledge and then learn and grow, she'll take her hair off, and it becomes a process of loving herself naturally and being herself and accepting herself the way she is, flaws and all, and 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 and, and, and finding value in her natural state against what society thinks about beauty and all of this stuff, you know? So that's a path in itself. It's a spiritual path that a woman has to take. Um, so I'm not going to judge a woman where she's at because most women are lying. They're just like their eggs in their, in their, in their, um, in their womb is uh, lying dormant until the man comes in and, and gives them knowledge. Knowledge changes people. Knowledge applied, you know?